the gospel is not that God loves you or God loves everyone. That's not what the Bible says. That's why people... The Bible says this is an abomination. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're... What you're doing, what you're doing, sir. You're taking his name in vain by celebrating this perversion. I already have, sir. I, re I read the Bible every day. Well, what, where'd you get your theology degree from? Harding University? Harding University. Did they teach you that this is an and that this is not an abomination? No, they teach me that Christ said everyone is worthy of love. Everyone is worthy of love. Uh, no, the, no, worthy we're worthy of, of death. Everyone we're worthy of hell. Everyone is worthy of love. Where's the Bible say that? Period. Where's the Bible say that? All throughout the entire thing, the Christ said, What are the two greatest commandments? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. And the second is like unto it, love your neighbor as yourself. All the law. That's why we're here. That's why we're here, yeah. If you can't love, you are not following Christ. You are taking the name of Christ in vain and you're defaming the life scripture. Well, you're taking. I implore you. Okay. I cast you out. You have no place here. You're not speaking law. That's not very loving. You're not speaking Christ. Okay. You're not speaking truth. Be gone. Ha! Oh, I think you're demon possessed, sir, with that theology degree. I think you're demon. Got some demons in you. Why the hate? Show me in the Bible that, that says what we're doing is wrong. The Bible, cover to cover. I'm a former minister, and I gave it up because I read the Bible, all of it. Or, Old Testament, the biggest lie on the planet. New Testament, made up by the Roman Catholic Church that you bought into. No, actually, we're not Catholic. We're anti-Catholic. You don't know. We're anti-Catholic. It's the same Bible that the Protestants took. The Catholics created it. Who do you think had the Bible in the fourth, fifth, and sixth century? The Catholic Church, and you bought it, young man. No, I, I, you, I got, I got. Even I got, Luther was Catholic, but he repented. But he repented. You have bought into a lie. Well, what? Can you tell me what the gospel is, sir? Pardon? Can you tell me what the gospel is? The gospel? Mm -hmm. Are you talking about the four or about the message? Well, what does the Bible say the gospel is? Jesus, let me get it clear. Jesus was a Jew. When he was teaching his people, he was teaching them as Jews, from a Jew, and Jews do not teach heaven, hell, or Satan. He would not have taught that. Anything in there in the Gospels, the four Gospels, that is written about heaven or hell, or Satan, was all made up by the Roman Catholic Church, and they borrowed it from paganism. Greek and Roman paganism. God will not destroy anyone. Ever. Really? That's the God of love. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, love, which is God, those who love, those who don't love, do not know God because God is love. God keeps no record of wrong. For those who don't, for those who repent, no. for those who do, who do not Does repent. Say that in first. Go back and read First Corinthians all the way. Through. Yeah, yeah. It's the only really uh, chapter in the Bible that you need. The only one. Well, it lays it all out for you. And if you go beyond that, you're going back to the Catholic Church. Well, the Bible says that love does not rejoice in unrighteousness. There in First Corinthians 13, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. And the truth is, God keeps no record of wrongs. For those who repent, yes. No, it doesn't say. But those who, who do not repent. It does not say that. Yeah. It doesn't say that. What you need to do is remember God is love. Only love. Not an anthropomorphic human kind of God living up there somewhere. If he's not living here in your heart, if you don't see him everywhere you turn, you're worshiping the wrong God. So does God love every wicked person here? Yes. God loves everyone. He does? Where's that in the Bible? Pardon? Where's that in the Bible, that God loves everyone? It says so God is love. Yes, but but that's different than saying God loves everyone. You take everything else and turn it into a kind of a, a human product. No, I just, I just read the Bible. Human product in 
the Bible. I just read the Bible. It's Roman Catholic doctrine. Get used to that. Everything from the Gospels to Revelation is Roman Catholic doctrine. Okay. So we love you. The gay, uh, the gay, we haven't felt the love. <laughs> the gay, no, because I'm fighting back here. Love can resist because you guys, have middle fingers you guys and, and violence. Taken, and, you guys have taken the message of Jesus, which is love, and turned it into this monstrosity you think out there. I agree. This is a monstrosity. I agree with that. No, this, this is, is a mon the monstrosity. What the gospel? You doing this? You're practicing hatred. You may not know it. Are we hating people? You are. We've been hated today. Yes. Not, nobody hates you. Oh, there are many people oh, here who hate us. There are many people who hate us. They're angry at you. Because oh, and you're the, and telling them they're going to hell. If they don't repent. No, they if they don't repent. repent of anything. Oh, really? Anything. Well, Jesus and John the Baptist said to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. No, they didn't. Yeah, it's that right there in the Gospels. Yeah. Church, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not Catholic, and it's in my Bible. Can Catholic. I show you? The Bible is a Catholic book. So what? Even the King James Bible is a Catholic. So what do you what do you use for a source of truth if you reject the Bible? What Say you, again? What's your source of truth if you reject the Bible? I don't reject the Bible, but I know how to pick out that which is true and that which is made up by men. Okay? That isn't the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. You got to be careful how you read it. You got to. Even Paul said, "We only know in part." I see through a mirror darkly. Even he admitted he did not know the whole truth. Okay. No, he said that some parts of the Bible are hard to understand. Hard to understand. Yes, that doesn't mean that he didn't. Wasn't listen. talking about his letters or the rest of the New Testament. Paul had only one Bible, and that was the Torah, the Jewish Bible. There was no other Bible when Paul was preaching. That's the Bible he taught from. from the Old Testament. Because there was no, and if you could talk to Paul right now and say, oh, your letters all became Holy Bible, he would laugh at you. Watch, those are letters that I wrote to my churches. Those aren't Holy, holy Writ. That was made up by the Roman you have to understand that. So you're there saying is nothing in the New Testament that isn't created by the Roman Catholic Church. Everything. So would you say that the New Testament endorses what's going on here today? Homosexuality? It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter? No. It doesn't matter that God condemns this? God calls it an abomination? Paul did, but God doesn't. Throughout the whole Bible, God condemns it. Uh -huh. Leviticus 18.22. Yeah, but that's, right. that's not about this. Oh, yeah, it is. No. Man line with men. It's yeah, an abomination. That's, that's only, you have to understand Jewish teaching. You don't know that. I have, well, I have, I have the, the Bible, the most literal translation we have today, the New American Standard Bible. Yeah, that's, right? not, that's not what we're really talking about. But you really understand what the Leviticus is saying about gay, homosexuality, anything like that. You know he's not talking about that. Well, I know I'm, it's exactly what he's talking about. Man lying with men, that's pretty clear. He's basically talking about Hebrew men lying with others who have wives and children. No, that's, I can read it to you real quick. No, no. I have my Bible with already know. Do you have, a, you have a Bible? I already know. Can I read it right? Can I read it straight from the Bible? Gonna, you're not going to change the truth. The truth is, you guys are preaching a lie. I got to go. Okay, well, you, you're believing a lie, sir. 